What you need to do in Brazil is encourage those educators who want to change the school. If you're preparing students for Workplace 2.0, that's not the future of Brazil. Brazil is moving very fast to change its economy from Workplace 2.0 to Workplace 3.0. Whenever you build a new school here, make sure you build it to prepare students for Workplace 3.0. Education 3.0 is to prepare students for the world that they are going to live in. The world, the workplace 3.0. You see, workplace 1.0 was for working on the farm. And so our schools prepared people to work on the farm. Workplace 2.0 was the factory. And education 2.0 prepared students to work in the factory. Well, today we have very few farms, very few factories, and those factories we do have are very different. We now have offices and laboratories and new forms of economic activity that form Workplace 3.0. And we need to prepare our students in school to work in the new economy and in the new industries that have established themselves. We also need to prepare them for the political world 3.0, for a, a participatory democracy. Our schools must be reinvented so that they prepare students for the world of today, the workplace and the democracy. Most of our schools in the US, in Brazil, in Asia, in Europe, are preparing students to work in a factory and have very little to do with their own governing. Today's world is very different. Everyone needs to work in an information economy. Everyone needs to be a wise participant and a voter in the democracy. And so our schools need to change to prepare students for that world. We will prepare our students for this new world only when we change what happens every day in school. Only when the life of a student in school is more like the life in the workplace or life in a democracy. In school, should, students should be working in small groups to solve problems the same way as that they work in small groups to solve problems in the workplace. They should be confronted with different views of the same idea like they will be confronted each time they vote in a democracy. Our schools need to better reflect what the world outside is really like. We'll only get there when every school changes, one by one. There is no country near this model. Every country is working on this. It's school by school that this change happens. It doesn't happen at the national level all of a sudden. Today we have education 2.0, tomorrow 3.0. No. School by school, we need to change the way that school works. There are many schools all over the world that are changing from education 2.0 to education 3.0. And the first step is they must recognize that they need to change, that what they're doing now is not good, it's not sufficient. So they must recognize the need for change. That's step one. Step two, they must have a new vision a picture in their mind of what school should be like. They need to paint that picture as a group. The teachers need to get together with the local business people and with the students and with the principal and with the political figures and reinvent the school. Paint a picture of what they want it to look like. That's called the step of set the vision. Number three, they need to look at What's the difference between the vision and where they are now? What is the gap that they need to cross? What are the things they need to do to get there? They must define those and set a date to make each of those changes. Many people will need to change. The teachers will need to change what they're doing. Students will need to change and do more work. Parents will need to have different expectations of the school. Everyone needs to change. They draw that up into a, a plan, which is step four. They need to have a plan 
to make the change. Step five, they sell that plan to the political community, to the parents, to the teachers. Step six, they build that plan. They change the infrastructure. They provide tablets for all the students. They throw out all the books. They teach in different ways. They change the curriculum. That's the hardest part. Step seven, every year they monitor their progress. Every year, year after year. And step eight, they re-envision themselves because the world will have changed again. Every teacher has a responsibility to be connected with the digital world. Every teacher needs to have a digital device, a tablet or a smartphone, and use it every day, just like the rest of the world does. Everyone else in the world, people who work in factories, people who work in offices, people who work in laboratories, use digital technologies every day. Teachers need to do the same things. They need to engage themselves with these new technologies. They need to learn how to use a tablet to teach their subject. If they're a biology teacher, they need to learn how to teach biology with the new electronic textbooks, with the new three-dimensional uh, anatomical organs that are, that are in these new textbooks. They need to use the tablet to communicate with other teachers and with their students every single day. They need to stop bringing their books to school and start bringing their tablets.